what's going on everybody dj go him here welcome back to the channel it's vibes of nose baby today we got 52 mods on the testing list we got some more pumps and hoses fact sheets giants have added new farming simulator academy courses the farming simulator league returns tomorrow and we got four modders to talk about including some new screenshots of gamer designs feller buncher check it out starting off today's farm some news with the mods and testing list which is sitting at 52 mods on the list right now one less than we had yesterday we got 47 mods in stage one and five mods in stage two some notable mods at stage one of testing today include the bin 500 pack the giant gd4 30 hs and the ibc and pallet stack also a testing with ice cream production international 1455 xl and the john deere sts 70 series rounding out stage one of testing today we got the massey ferguson 5700s 6700s 2020 series the tlx 9000 series and the tool height control for harvesters mod one of the best mods for consoles ever maps in stage one of testing today include avon valley black river east vineland new jersey gadenthal Green Hills Estate, Old Kiwi Farm, and Umbrian Valley. Making our way down to stage two of testing, we've got Agricultural Input Production, Buildable Feedlot Pack, Case IH Magnum 8900 Series, Forge Factory, and the Old Grain Mill. With all that being said, we still have 189 mods sitting waiting to be tested, down from 225 yesterday, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is back up to eight workdays. Today, we received our second set of fact sheets for the Pumps and Hoses DLC for Farming Simulator 22, releasing on Tuesday, September 27th, 2022 for all platforms. The DLC will be introducing umbilical systems, manure separation, and configurable biogas plants into the game, and is the first third-party DLC for FS22 as well, meaning that it is not a DLC by Giant Software, but by Creative Mesh. It also incorporates a version of Wobster's hose system in it as well as he is part of the creative mesh team allowing for this awesome feature to come to all platforms not just pc and mac if it was a regular mod today we've got four fact sheets with three pieces of equipment and four placeables so let's jump right in and check them out first up let's take a look at some field side storage the shouton jc 450 manure storage with built-in pump this is going to cost you seventy two thousand three hundred dollars it's got a power requirement of 200 horsepower holds 49,000 liters of product it will support up to 700 meters of hose length and it weighs 9.5 tons our second fact sheet today includes two more pieces of equipment that you can hook up to the storage bin the shouton h240 hose reel and the sp8040 manure injector let's start with the umbilical hose reel this is going to cost you nine thousand three hundred fifty bucks says it holds 1.3 kilometers of hose which is kind of crazy i don't know if there's a typo here maybe i'm reading it the wrong way but that's wild it also weighs 910 kilograms as for the sp8040 manure injector this is going to cost you $39,800 it requires 70 horsepower it's got a working width of 8 meters with a max working speed of 10 miles per hour or 16 kilometers per hour and it weighs 2.1 tons making our way over to some placeables we've got the stall camp fermenter and the 2g avis 500 plus let's start with the fermenter this is used to ferment various materials into methane and digestate there's going to be different versions costing between two hundred sixty thousand and four hundred thirty thousand dollars and they will hold between 450 and 1604 liters of methane as for the avis 500 plus this is a cogeneration plant used to generate electrical power and heat from methane out of the fermenter it's going to cost you 467,500 bucks and it will hold up to 5,500 count of electrical charge. And our last fact sheet today is the Stall Camp Manure Pit and Separator Box. Starting off with the Manure Pit. This is a stainless steel manure and digestate pit available in three different sizes, ranging from $58,000 up to $180,000 in price. It includes capacities between 606,000 and 3,610,000 liters. And lastly is the Stall Camp Separator Box. This separates the solid fraction of liquid manure that can be sold, used as bedding for animals, or used as fertilizer. This is going to cost you $25,000 and it will hold 35,000 liters. As I said, this DLC will be here on Tuesday, September 27th, 2022 for all platforms. That includes PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia, including the Steam and Epic Game Store versions, and it can be purchased for $17.99 USD. If you'd like to pre-order the Pumps and Hoses DLC for FS22, buy any of the other DLCs, or maybe you just want to buy Farm Sub 22 on PC, check the description for links to all of those and make sure that you use the code DJGOHAM. 
That goes to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. And remember, this DLC is not included in the year one season pass, so you'll have to buy it if you want to get it. This is because it is a third party DLC and not a Giants DLC. We've also got some more news from Giants Software today. They've added new courses to the Farming Simulator Academy, including new courses under Animals 102, Silage of Total Mix Ration, as well as new Machinery 101 courses that teach you how to use machines and tools like front loaders and things like that, as well as the different kinds of attachments. If you're just getting started out with Farming Simulator or you stay away from anything having to do with feeding animals or using loaders, because maybe you just don't understand them, check out these courses. They're very easy to understand and you can just fly through them in no time. Back when I started playing Farming Simulator in 2017, everything that I learned about the game, I learned from watching YouTube videos. These days, it's a little bit easier and you can go at your own pace as well. Check out the Farming Simulator Academy, link below. Don't forget the Farming Simulator League Esports Tournament is back this weekend with round five of season four. Matches start Saturday, September the 10th at 10 a.m. CEST, 4 a.m. Eastern Time. It will be live streamed on the FSL YouTube channel, Facebook, and the Giants Twitch accounts with a German stream available via Giant Software DE on Twitch. Saturday, we'll see four live matches featuring eight teams and then on sunday the entire finals will be streamed live on these different platforms if you'd like to check out the farming simulator league i'll leave some links below for you guys to check it out jumping over to some modern news 82 studios tlx 9000 semi truck is on its way back and as of yesterday afternoon after the farm some news video came out of course it went into the first stage of testing and that is where it is still today after almost a year of not having it on the Mod Hub and Farm Sim 19 and 22 now, we're getting closer every day to seeing it again. Remember, most mods don't pass testing the first time around, so be patient. I'll keep you guys updated every step of the way. You can also check out 82 Studios live stream tonight on YouTube. That's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern time. As I'm sure he's not only going to be talking about the testing process for the 9000, but also the TLX 2022. Like below. Gamer designs has a few more screenshots of his Lizard 669 Feller Buncher, but we got a new shot today with what looks to be the Printeth M650 Stump Grinder on the front. Could we be seeing a new forestry machine with a three point attachment capability? Can't say for sure, but that'd be pretty cool. Also, FS is working on a few more mods for us. One of them is new, and the other is a returning mod. Let's start with the new mod, the Massey Ferguson MF 2013 Fertilizer Spreader. We don't have any specs on this as they just started sharing information on it yesterday, but looks like he's made quick work of it because it's already in game. And the second mod is the returning mod, the Massey Ferguson MF326 Voutrefine 2617 Seeder. This is a very unique design incorporating a long ways transport with a normal seeding direction in the field. It requires a custom three point piece to tow behind, but in the field, work is very normal. It also came with a bunch of different attachments in Farm Sim 19, so I'm excited to see what they bring us in 22. This mod is already with Giants, waiting testing for all platforms. And lastly, today, Steve's Mods has shared the FS22 Thornton map conversion on his Facebook page for PC players, saying that his PC died, so here's the map. We haven't seen anything else from him or heard any announcements since he made this post last night, but if anything pops up throughout the day, we'll let you guys know, probably on Farm Sim Show, later today. Otherwise, if you're on PC and you like to get Thornton Farm, there it is. And if you're here and you don't get these outros, it's probably because they're self-aware, which can be a little tricky sometimes. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. If there's something that you would like to see covered in a future Farm Some News video, let me know in the comments section. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Friday, it's Farm Sim Show Day, and it's almost a weekend. Let's go. Ooh.